Hey, hey, guys, how are you? It is Allison from Allison Answers and Logger Counseling Services. I'm here to tell you guys about a really funny, cute story, but it's kind of sad. Here it is. I want you to picture a window with sun behind it, right? I want you to picture it. And then I want you to picture the fly, that big fly that just keeps banging against that window over and over again because it sees the sun, it sees the fresh air out there, and it, that's where it wants to be. But it just will not, it will not stop. It is relentless and it will not stop until it's completely exhausted and falls to the side of the windowsill and dies. And a lot of us are like that. We believe that the thing that we want. We can see it, but we could just never expend enough energy to get there. We believe that we could never be enough to be there. And we just keep pushing and pushing and pushing and doing the same exact thing that we've done all along in order to get that result. And we try so hard and then we fall down out of breath and we just feel so so victimized by life that, you know, how come I try so hard and I just can't get to that place that I want so much. And um, if you consider that fly, very often if the fly just turned around and took a simple, easy flight in the other direction with the open door that's behind it and just flew outside, all of the energy, all of the stress, all of the work, all of the, the exerted energy that was not necessary would have been gone and unneeded and the achievement would have been there. So what, what I want to say to you guys is that that is a very, very important concept for growth, for healing, for change, for meeting your dreams, for becoming everything that you are. We have a tendency to continue to utilize the same strategies and to believe that struggling is a part of achieving greatness. And I want to tell you something. There's something beautiful in ease. There's something beautiful in being willing to turn and do something in a different manner, to go in a different pattern, to listen to somebody else. A lot, you know, I can even liken it to myself in the years that I've had my own experience as um, just being a therapist, running counseling centers. It's it takes something in me to be able to say, wait a minute, let me listen to somebody else. If I'm trying to achieve something or I'm trying to do something and I believe that I know, and that, you know, there's that kind of part of us. Like I believe that I know that going through that glass, you know, smashing up against that glass window has always worked for me. <laughs> so I'm, I know better, so I'm doing that. And what I wanna to say to you is that I have so many times have had to humble myself to really listen and to be able to pull back from what I believe I know from the systems that I've created that have been really good and have achieved really great results. But what that is, is something called an okay plateau. I may have mentioned it in some video somewhere, but the okay plateau is something where a lot of us get to, especially experts, because I, I consider myself an expert in my field. But when we get lost in the idea that, you know, here, here's my plateau. I've reached this level of expertise and whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be swimming. It could be, it could be doing cartwheels. It could be doing therapy. It could be anything. And then we're closed to the next huge leap that we can make. The next huge leap that may, very, very well may not be a struggle for you. And I want you to consider to stop if you're struggling at something and ask yourself, do I have a belief system that great things only come through struggle? Because they don't. Let me tell you something. I mean, I believe in working hard. I work my ass off. So I believe in hard work and I believe that what you plant into the ground, you do get back. But there are things that just the ground's too hard to plant it and we just keep trying and trying and trying and it's not what's meant to be. Sometimes you have to stop, breathe, pivot, look around. Listen to someone who doesn't know as much. It's amazing what they can teach you. So many times, I can't even tell you, um, this is my little secret. When I sit in a session with every one of my clients, before they sit down, I say, God, teach me something. Let this beautiful person before me show me something that I haven't learned before. And there's never been a time that I haven't learned something. When I ask for that, now I'm looking for it. And when I, and I will always find something to learn in that session. Now, remember, 
I'm supposed to be the expert in that situation? No, no, actually, they're going to be the expert that's going to show me something magnificent that I've never looked at before, like turning around like the fly that turns around and goes in the other direction. Wow, that's magnificence. And you know what? Expect life to be like ease. Don't expect it to be a struggle. You want to look at what is my belief system? Is my belief system that every's got everything I do has got to be, I got to work so hard. And you know what? Maybe or maybe not, I'll get it. No, ladies, we're not doing that. So this is what you're doing. I don't even know if I gave you a challenge. <laughs> I want you to think about in what areas of your life are you being that fly that just keeps hitting the wall, hitting the wall, hitting the wall, working harder? Have you stopped and looked around? I want you to notice how much throughout your day for the next 24 hours is embedded with the belief system that I have to struggle in order to get and that I have to pay for anything beautiful that comes to me. We have a very distorted perception on the beauty and the magnificent of our earth and what is available to us. You know what? We don't ask for our heart to beat, but it beats. We don't ask for the sun to rise and, and to go down at night. We don't ask for the magnificence in the sky and it's delivered every day with ease. We don't ask for every breath we, we breathe, right? And it's there, it's always there. Think about it. So much of the goodness that you want in your life is already here. I just want you, we just gotta stop, right? Just turn around and maybe your flight could be a little easier. Have a great day.